Hey everybody, this is Pitmaster Andy G with Smoke on Wheels. We are here at Proud Souls Barbecue, Kansas City, and we are gonna be doing some grilling today. The pits are lit, let's go. We're gonna give you a new take on your spare ribs with a bash on uzu rib. So we're gonna do spare ribs today. I've got our Prairie Fresh Naturals right here, and we're actually gonna do these a little bit different. Instead of cooking this as a whole slab, we're gonna break these down into individual ribs and cook them with a little bit of an Asian flair. We're gonna use the Bashan's Uzu sauce today, and we're gonna make a marinade out of that, marinate these ribs, and do a Japanese-style sticky rib. It's gonna be awesome. So let me break into this package. So we're gonna cut these down into individual ribs, but the first thing I'm gonna do is just trim this slab up and get rid of our membrane. So I'm gonna just peel against this first bone with a dry paper towel, pull against that, and that'll give us all we need to get that membrane loosened up, and then I can just peel it away. Now on the top, you can see we have some of this chine still there and some of that cartilage, so I'm actually gonna come in right behind the bones and remove that. And then any of this uh, skirt meat that's left, I'm gonna go ahead and peel that off as well, just like so. Now we're gonna take these and cut these into individual ribs. And this is just gonna give us great surface area to get that nice uh, sticky sauce tacked up and get all of that flavor and caramelization on each rib. So you'll notice on these ribs, look at how beautiful that meat is. It's thick, you've got great marbling in there. The Prairie Fresh Naturals really are just an amazing rib. They're gonna be perfect for this. You can see that all the way through. So we're gonna go ahead and set these into a pan and let them set aside for a minute. I'm gonna load them in this pan and then we're gonna make our marinade. Now for our marinade, I've got our brown sugar, our ginger and our garlic. We're gonna add our sesame oil, our mirin, and we're gonna add about a half a cup of our Bashan's Uzu barbecue sauce into the marinade. Give it a couple of good quarter cup squeezes right there. Then we're just gonna mix this. Now that all of our sugar is incorporated, this is ready to go right onto the ribs. You can put these in a Ziploc and just put them in the fridge for a couple of hours. All right, we're gonna take these ribs we cut and we're gonna put them into a Ziploc we're gonna add that marinade, and we're gonna let these marinate for probably two to three hours. Uh, you could go a little longer if you needed to, but uh, two hours at a minimum. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit these with our SDQ sweet garlic rub, give them a nice light coating so that that bark sets up and tacks really nicely. Ribs are ready to roll. So those ribs got nice and tender in the foil. We went ahead and opened that up and cranked the pit on up to 375, where we started glazing those ribs and letting that caramelize and tack up on them and look great. These ribs are just absolutely beautiful. Uh, they've got great caramelization, great color, and all we're gonna do to finish these at this point is just throw a little bit of green onion on top, nice and fresh and these are ready to eat. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and hit one of these. So as you can see, look at that, look at the color, beautiful caramelization all the way around on these Prairie Fresh ribs. Beautiful Bashan Zuzu on top, I'm just taking a bite. Oh man, look at that. Perfect bite, great texture, great flavor. You can get these Prairie Fresh ribs right here in Kansas City, Proud Souls Barbecue and Provisions. Check them out.